Right, hello, good evening. Just checking his on, yep. Yeah. Right, good evening. Um, quite a dramatic title tonight, and I hope it got you interested in what I'm going to talk about, because, um, yeah, it is, it's, it, what I thought when I was posting it, I'll just ref, um, reflect what I was told in the week. Uh, I'm a criminal and I killed my family. And someone told me that in the week, and I'll come to that in a minute. But before I do, I just want to point out um, what I actually do. And um, I work with people who want to learn a much more effective way of getting what they truly want out of their life. And using a very unique process, which helps you um, use your thoughts, your feelings and emotions to create actions which work for you in any given circumstance and it keep you moving forward, keep you growing, keep you um, creating the things that you truly want out of your life. Uh, I work one-to-one, -one. I, I do group coaching and with teams um, and I also do speaking events around uh, the topics of my soon-to-be-released book, To Hell and Back and Then Some, which um, basically documents my journey from, prison, uh, from where I was before um, I went to prison and to where I am now. And more importantly, how my journey um, is reflective of pretty much everybody's journey in terms of that we're all going through something in life, some sort of transformation, some sort of change, some sort of transition. We're all doing something. We're all going through something. So my journey is no different from any, anybody else's. And um, what I do now is I help people who are going through some sort of transition in their life to help them navigate through that in a successful way, creating a mindset that works for them. So, right, okay, tonight I'm going to talk about what happened to me the other day and it was following the queen's funeral so i think back over your lifetime and uh, all the times in your life uh, where you've either lashed out at somebody or said something that you wish you hadn't later on or done something that you wish you hadn't done later on i've done that a few times in my time um you know and then ask yourself this question when that happened was i completely at peace and happy with myself inside when I lashed out, when I said that, when I did that. Were you? So after the Queen's funeral, I posted something online about it being, a, you know, a lovely day and, you know, proud to be English and all that sort of stuff. And someone started attacking me about, about being patriotic and so on. But that sort of escalated. And it seemed to me, well, it, it was obvious that the guy or person, whoever it was, um, had done a bit of research and found out about being, you know, Googled me or whatever and, and, and found out that I'd been in prison. Which is not exactly a secret, as everybody knows this, because it's all over my website and everywhere else. But he decided to uh, start labelling me as a criminal, um, a fraud, and also telling me that I killed my family. Um, you know, he'd read up about it and 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 thought it would be, uh, I don't know, um, appropriate to tell me that. And, you know, it's pretty dark stuff, to be fair. Um, someone labelling you and telling you and this, that. Obviously, the guy didn't know me, but... It was a case of, um, you know, throwing mud at me and hoping some of it sticks. So it is pretty dark stuff. To be told that sort of stuff, um, it's not nice. Especially considering the fact that I've done a lot of internal work uh, over the years uh, to deal with my past beliefs, uh, my actions, past actions, which indeed included feelings of blame and guilt and all the rest of it um, around the lack of loss of my family. I, for a long, long time, I blamed myself for the fact that they both part, but well, they both died whilst I was in prison. And I was like, well, if I hadn't been in prison, they probably wouldn't have died, and so on. You know, it was normal and natural to 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 blame myself in that in those days. I mean, you know, it took me a long time to come to terms with that and deal with that. And uh, but now things are very different. Um, you see, since I started working on acceptance. Uh, and coming to terms with the past and with myself and who I was and who I am now and everything in between. Um, in days gone by, I would have reacted with anger. I would have reacted with, um, you know, defensive, stress, anger, um, frustration, all sorts of very draining sort of things. And I would have probably ended up doing something very counterproductive, getting banned or whatever, which I've done in the past. Um, because you get sucked into this sort of low energy uh, thing. If someone has a go at you, you have a go at them back. And before you know it, the energy there where you were before, the, the you know, feeling good about yourself, feeling positive, seeing opportunities, seeing, it all goes out the window. You don't get what you want done. Instead, you feel stressed, angry, frustrated. And that's uh, true, not just necessarily of someone having a go at you or saying something. That could be something like watching something on the news. Or, you know, if we see something on the news which doesn't align itself with how we feel or want to feel or our values or our morals or anything like that, 
that can trigger us and it's the same thing it lowers your energy you start feeling angry and so on and that's also down to acceptance because you know part of acceptance is not just accepting yourself it's accepting everything in the world people every other person there's people who don't believe the things that you believe you know if we're angry because someone thinks differently to us how does that help you how does it help anyone you know the truth of the matter is acceptance is key if you want to keep balance in your own life and you know not feel triggered every time something goes against the way you think it should do or do, or so someone says something to you which um you know touches a nerve so now things like i said are different because i've worked a lot on the acceptance side of things and i've done a lot of internal work to come to terms with how i thought and how i think now and true the true the reality of it or i've looked at it in a much more objective way and come to terms with it it is what it is you can't change the past you can only learn and grow from it so it doesn't help anybody to sit back there and live in the past and keep focusing on what went wrong and why did i do that and should i have done this differently and this had happened and that it doesn't help anybody what helps you is by accepting it as it is that doesn't mean you have to say it's label it as good or bad or right or wrong it's just accepting it as it is you can't change it and learning from it what can i learn from it how can i use it as an opportunity to grow and move forward with my life right now and that's essentially what i've done you know so you see when we lash out and do things um to harm or hurt others uh it comes from a, a low level of energy a place of pain um pain from within us you know which we've gathered and built up and um it comes from having um difficulty accepting something uh, in your life or within us you know a part of you that you don't like we we, we struggle to accept or whatever it may be uh, something that we've done in the past uh, acceptance can be a multitude of different things but it's essentially the same thing when you look at it um in a broader perspective because um when you learn to accept everything in your life yourself and the world around you and the people around you it frees you up it completely frees you up mentally and emotionally to be who you truly want to be so it's very important to uh, to you know become accepting of yourself you can only really feel hurt by anything or anyone if it if it triggers you if in, in some way and if you allow it to you know and if you allow it to trigger you it's because there's something within you telling you you know that they're in the wrong or you know makes you feel defensive about it, so you want to protect your own interests or if like in my case you know if it had been before um in the past um the personal guilt you know the blame rather than having to set that and deal with it and take responsibility for that guilt it's easier to deflect it it's easier to say oh well, no it's uh, you know and deflect it away even though in, inside we know it's um you know part of us it's part of, we're reacting to something some something's triggering within us so and you're, when you're fully aware and accepting, um, very little can really get under your skin. Very little can actually truly trigger you, unless again you you're already at a low level of energy and you're and you're you know only seeing things from a perspective of say victimization or frustration. When in that case, you know we can allow ourselves to become triggered quite easily. But if you're highly energized, it's very hard to become triggered by stuff like that. So and that's because with awareness comes knowledge. And that, um, every, whatever anyone says or does in life, it's always about them more so than it is about you. And that's a fact. If you look at everything that's ever happened in your life, every situation that you've uh, created in your life, look at it from that perspective. Was it more about the other person or was it really, truly more about me? And if you ask yourself that question, I guarantee you every single time it will come back to you. So how many times have you been hurt or harmed either someone else or yourself when you've been feeling i'm um, highly energized and happy and fulfilled content calm at peace how many times do you say nasty things when you feel that way you don't and that's because when you're highly energized you're not seeing things from that low energy perspective which is just full of um you know like i said conflict and victimization we're only seeing things from that perspective so in the end with that guy i responded um to him with calmness i responded with kindness understanding objectivity i didn't allow it to trigger me and i was very pleased with that i was actually really proud of myself because in the past i would have done the opposite i would have ang been angry and so on but because i didn't get triggered it proved to me that i had fully accepted my past because that was the evidence i needed 
So it was it was actually a really great experience for me. I enjoyed it because after I felt good about that because I thought, well, I've actually moved forward here. He, he you know, he tried to trigger me each time by st saying something different or saying something even more nasty. Um, but every time he did, I just react, uh, responded with calmness and more um, questions, uh, understanding. I was just asking him why he was angry and so on. And he started to actually calm down himself. And you could see it was just a hurt little boy at the end of the day. He was, he was, it turned out he was only a kid. And um, yeah, he was hurting. He was obviously upset. He didn't tell me exactly why, but you could tell he was, he was, he was in a bad place. And that's what he was doing. He was on a train, apparently, coming home, and he was bored, and he, he decided it was, you know, he could lash out at someone for whatever reason. So, and the thing is, I knew he was in pain, and um, simply using me as an outlet um, for that negative energy to be released. You know, he wanted to get it out of his system, and I was the easy target. So it's easy to deflect pain onto others than to face it ourselves sometimes. And it's the same if you think about bullying. A bully is hurting inside. What does he do or her? They go and hurt somebody else to deflect that away from themselves. That's what a bully does. And it's no different with any situation like this. We're all guilty of doing this at some point in our lives. So it, I was a criminal once. And that's one thing the guy did get right. Um, he's right about that. But now I'm, I've changed my life around and I'm no longer a criminal in that sense and you know I'd always I suppose in some people's eyes be so but um, I use those experiences I, I went through good and bad ones as well as the philosophy I learned when I trained with IPEC and um, which I now live by and I live uh, you know learn and live by and practice every day and you know the, the, the things that create the happiness in my life and the success in my life and now I teach other people um, the same philosophy the core energy coaching process which helps them create mental balance and clarity in their minds if you wish to stay focused and um, in control of how you respond to people rather than react to people instead of like reacting to everything that triggers you instead you learn how to respond and use it as an opportunity instead of a problem to move you forward like i did with that thing i help you do that i also help people improve their self-awareness uh, find full acceptance within themselves and everything around them and create a mental foundation which when used and this is important because it's one thing learning something and there's nothing actually doing it uh, it helps you perform consistently at your very best and at your most productive and if you're interested in finding out how i do that with you one-to-one -one, please get in touch with me i'm going to be doing a program as well which is coming out soon so also keep an eye out for that that's a, a four-week program which is going to be coming out at the end of this month and if you're interested in finding out how I can work with you or if you're interested in moving forward with your life and finding acceptance, increasing your awareness and so on, get in touch. And I hope that's helped somebody, um, some people tonight. And I will talk to you all next time. See you soon. Bye.